Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and my tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how I have created this particular design within Power BI using PowerPoint. If you like the design of this dashboard, consider hitting that like button on the video. That will make me happy. Okay, so let's get started with this tutorial. Let's go to PowerPoint and this is what I have done here. So let me show you from scratch as to how I have done this. I'm going to go to the insert tab on a blank page and then I'm going to click on shape. I have selected a rectangle shape over here and then spread it across the entire uh, page over here. And then I'm going to go to the color and then choose the uh, color from the color options. I'm going to go back here, choose the background just to pick up the color that I have used over here. I have my hex value here, which I'll be using the same thing over here. I'm going to select the shape, go to color, more colors, and then I'm going to paste the hex value and press enter. So you have this background created now. And now I'm going to go here, insert shape again. You can choose different kind of shapes that you would like. I'm, I'll simply go with the square shape here. And on this shape, I'm, I'm going to go to the color again and choose the darker shade of, uh, you know, this color over here. Now, and then this has a little water. I'm, I want to get rid of that. Oops get rid of that particular border okay now you have this you know darker shade and the lighter shade of the blue here okay so and then you can place them wherever you would like in whatever shapes that you would like based on you know com completely it's on your requirement okay so you can have another one pasted over here for your title if you want let's say you you want your title here on the left side of the dashboard you can simply paste this over here and then expand this to whatever size that you want based on your title and you can get that going okay so and then let us say you want one big uh, tile over here filled with various kind of uh, uh, tiles so let me show you how i've created the different shapes or the different colors of uh, uh, the tiles over here i'm going to select this particular shape click on gradient fill and then i'm going to select so first click on this gradient stop over here and then go to the color dropper choose the color that you would like for example let me let's go with this particular red here and then i'm going to choose uh, the red again and then the last two i'm going to choose the black okay and then once you have this you'll see something like this but don't worry you simply need to play around with this particular slider here to move around and uh, uh, you know des design this in a way that you would be happy with now and then you can also change it to uh, the direction or the type of the gradient to radial to rectangular to path etc so I'll, I'll leave it at uh, linear here for now and then direction you can obviously choose the direction of the gradient here let's say you like this you can just sim again play around with this particular gradient over here and then let's get going so let's say you've created this let's say you want another one simply copy paste this and change the colors of this gradient let's say we want an orange shade okay we want an orange shade we will change this here so you you now have an orange and let's say you want to change the uh, uh, direction of this particular uh, the gradient you can do that as well so that is how i have created uh, the uh, shape background over here and then once i have created all of this what i will do is i'm going to press ctrl a select all the layers over here you can simply right click group and click on group so once you have done that you will right click and then click on save as picture so once you have saved that as picture i'm going to save this as picture too for example click on save okay and then go back to your bi on your new page uh, expand the visualizations tab and under the uh, format tab go to page background and then you have an option here where you can add an image so once you click on that you will get the image that you have created let me use the same image that i have in my previous tab i'm going to select this click on open so when you do that something like this will appear which you think is not right because you need to decrease the transparency to the, of this to zero. So once you've done that, you will see that the blue color is appearing. However, the size is not correct. So for that, what you need to do is under the image fit option, you need to select fit. 
So once you've done that, you will see that the entire dashboard, the look of the entire dashboard has, has changed and the way you have created here in your PPT that is, has started appearing now. Now you can start building your uh, dashboard. For example, let us say we need a, a, a bar chart over here. Okay, let's create a bar chart quickly. I'm going to add item type and then I'm going to add my total sales amount. Okay, and then change this to a bar chart. Now I have this in my values. And then now you will have to make a couple of changes here. You don't need the background. Okay, also you don't need the title. Let's turn that off. And then we will need, change, need to change the data colors here change it to whatever that you would like, for example, green, and then Y axis, change the color to white to match uh, the color of the dashboard so that it's contrasting, okay? And then, then you have that Y axis, uh, and then change the title color also to white so that this is also in white. Likewise, for your X axis and Y axis, uh, change the color to white. You can choose whatever color that you would like to have and then paste this, uh, place this particular uh, visual over here and then it gets going, right? Likewise, you can create a lot of other uh, uh, visuals here based on your requirement and design the dashboard as per your liking. I hope this video has helped you. You've learned something new today. Uh, you will make sure that you going forward, you will use the PowerPoint to design the report to make it more stunning and more appealing um, to your management. I hope this video has helped you. Please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials.